We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise see only in textbooks and TV. Along with the Ocampo family, we're leaving Bali's beautiful coastal city of Uluwatu and trekking two hours north to the jungles of Ubud. We're about to spend four days exploring the local scene, adventuring through nature, and kicking back in our private six-bedroom villa situated along one of the world's newest UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Let's get to it. We found a true jungle oasis here outside of Ubud. It's about a 15 minute drive outside of the center of Ubud, but it's so peaceful and serene here. I couldn't believe it when we walked in. Look what we have. What we're looking at right now is actually a newly minted UNESCO World Heritage Site. And there's a river gorge down through here and temples everywhere. And right now we're standing in what's gonna be our bedroom and this is called the Joe Glow Suite and it's built from a 200-year-old Javanese structure. This is the largest of the six bedrooms, and it's the only one without air conditioning. As you can see, there are no walls here, but that's gonna be enough to keep us cool at night, so we're gonna be fine. They all have ensuite bathrooms, and they're all outdoor bathrooms. I'll show you ours. In the jungle, the Bali jungle. So we're gonna brush our teeth here, go potty over there, and then we shower right over here. And we're practically back in the bedroom already, right there. Now, of course, we're out in the middle of nature, in the middle of the jungle, so there are a lot of bugs, but if you don't bother them, they're not gonna bother you. So far, at least. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like, everything seems so sacred. Like even this little statue here. One of the bathrooms has an outdoor bathtub in addition to the outdoor shower. Now because this suite does not have walls going all the way around, bugs are gonna be a bigger issue and that's why our bed has this mosquito net. So we'll wrap that around when it's time to Z's. This suite is about 25 feet from the main villa. So we just go down a little bit. That's also why we have such gorgeous views. Oh, this is such a great shot of the massage room. We're getting massages tomorrow. I feel like we take a small walk to the jungle to get to the main house. But we're here with our friends, our best friends, Mom Duty. And the kids are already playing in the pool. Hello. Hello, Noxie. Subscribe to Mom Duty and Oi Be Changing Family. Woo! Subscribe! And don't forget to like and hit that notification button. That's right. Best marketers ever. Oh my gosh, look at this is Inception. Episode inside of an episode. Such a great entertaining and lounging area out here. In addition to the pool, there's this massive dining table that actually seats 12 if you add the two additional chairs over here so everybody can have meals out here which is a really big thing for this villa even though there's a full kitchen here you're not making your own food when you're staying here they're doing it for you they have professional menus and you get to pick everything you want for every meal breakfast is included and you can order whatever you want for lunch and dinner and laundry rocio and i just gave a huge huge pile of laundry that is going to be back within a couple of hours even and it's very, very affordable. The meals that we ordered tonight, the entrees are about $5 per person. There's also this bar, a refrigerator where we've already stored some of our own libations that we can kind of conjure up later on. But it is a sprawling, sprawling villa. So many different areas. We're not even gonna show you all of them today, but we will on this episode for sure. Bill is the best mixologist. He makes the best cocktails, so we're gonna be drinking tonight. It's fully staffed. There are about half a dozen workers here right now working on our dinner as we speak. An on-site property manager that is here to answer any questions, make any reservations, any transportation, really hand and foot anything that you need. The value here is pretty mind-blowing. Wait till you hear what we pay. If for some reason you wanted to hang out inside instead of outside, this is a beautiful place to do it. You've got plenty of seating in here, including this day bed. It looks like a little jungle wall right outside of the window. And you've still got music and TV and access to anything in here so you can just kick back, maybe read a book or something. I don't know what people do inside. One of the few things that we sometimes do inside when we travel is Brooklyn and Colt's school. Our YouTube episodes are packed with our family's incredible cultural experiences around the globe. But you may wonder how we're able to pair that lifestyle with a formal education for our children. Even without stepping foot in a classroom, we're getting better schooling than most kids our age. They're enrolled in a world-class online private school called Ignite Learning Academy. Ignite combines the outstanding teachers and small class sizes that are typical of private schools with convenient live and recorded online instruction, providing our family with independence from geographic and time zone requirements 
while also providing outstanding peer socialization. And the asynchronous format means B and C can study whenever and wherever it's most convenient for us on any given day. And it means we can work ahead so we have more free time while traveling. Ignite Learning Academy is a fully accredited online school based in the U.S., but serving families that live all over the world. No matter where you live, your kids can get an excellent, accredited U.S. private school education. If your family could benefit from a program like this, whether it's to accommodate your own travels, to work around kids' sports programs, or just to gain more freedom and flexibility, you can go to followabc.com school to learn more and to request a one-on-one -on -one call with a school administrator. Class dismissed. I mean, there's so much to do here. We've got a jam-packed day tomorrow, so you have to stick around for, for that. Up the stairs, two additional ensuite bedrooms. They also have an outdoor shower and bathroom, each of them. It's dinner time! So we all got to order whatever we wanted, something different. This is wine. Hey, how are you? Wine is the cook and the bartender, but he gets a break tonight because Phil made these cocktails for us. It is watermelon, a little bit of Sprite, and some lime juice in there. Phil is the best bartender, mixologist you can imagine. So come have a cocktail with us sometime. Hey kid, dinner time, dinner is served. Well, I would say it's mostly Indonesian food except for there's Italian and I figured that was more like a kid's menu type of thing, which is great. Kids are gonna eat up those noodles. Also, the boys got satay. And Mia, you got some, it looks kind of like lo mein. It's really good. It tastes kind of like lo mein and like, I don't know, spaghetti. It tastes super good. I got the chicken curry, which he said was one of the top dishes on the menu. The second actually being one of the Italian dishes, which is it's lemon chicken. And this is a beef curry. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm really excited to see what these sides are, but it's got some spice to it. And I like it hot. I have been traveling the world looking for super, super spicy dishes. Nothing impresses me except for in Bali so far, in Uluwatu, there were some spicy dishes and I'm hoping I can get even hotter. It's got a little spice to it. Really good. So many of these flavors are coming from right out here in the jungle. And some of the animals are being raised right on this property here too. To an amazing dinner with the best of friends and the best of environments and the best scenery here. Love you guys so much. Love you. Love it. Oh, I love it. Love that we get to share these things with people we love. I said love like five times, so drink five times. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Look at this gorgeous wake up. The sun came in from over there and the light just filled slowly into this gorge. And the greenery that pops out, it's just so beautiful and vibrant and really feel like you're in the jungle. We are in the jungle. This is like the ideal spot to drink some coffee is to just wake up to this light, this view, and sip on your java. Did you bring me a Red Bull? No, I did not bring you a Red Bull. Well, I'm gonna really enjoy this, drink my coffee, and then we have an activity starting at seven. Time to try to wake the kiddos up. I have a feeling ours are gonna do pretty well because of the jet lag, but I don't know about the Ocampo kids. They've been in Asia for a long time. Are you guys doing pajama yoga? I love it. Yeah. Good morning. So the fancy drone that Melvin was flying is uh, somewhere out in the jungle right now. It hit a tree, it fell down. He and I really are like twins because I crashed all of my drones. It's totally something I would do. So now we have to go find it later but uh, it's gonna be a little bit of an adventure because it's literally in the middle of the jungle and he has a rough idea of where it is over there, but once you get into all of that greenery, it can be a little bit challenging to find stuff like that. Hopefully the lights are still on, that'll make it easier. You know what else is gonna make it a little easier? Some meditation. We're gonna do yoga with an instructor on the property and they have the perfect spot for it here. So let's get started. This is gonna be pretty comical for me because I am probably the least limber person on the planet, certainly in this group. I can't even touch my toes. Uh, <laughs> you think you're elite, I'm, Les? I, I, I'll probably beat you on that, Phil. <laughs> Can you touch your toes? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're even. See, I twins. Even raise my hand. I call the mat home. Good morning. Good morning, yes, morning, come in. Can you imagine a more beautiful place to do yoga?
From the physical body relax, now come into the energy body breathing, relaxing your breath. Go, what did you think, buddy? What did you think? Uh, I was distracted half the time by a monitor that was on the ceiling. That was wonderful. Yoga has been a part of Bali culture for a long time, and it just gives you this peacefulness, reflectfulness, and mindfulness. And there are two main parts of the yoga journey, and one is meditation for your mind, and then the yoga part for your body. We are feeling so, so fully relaxed, refreshed, and ready for the rest of the day. Before we go, I wanna show you the two additional bedrooms that are right off here on the yoga deck, and then we're gonna head up for breakfast, and Rocio and I are gonna do something that's been on my bucket list for a very long time. Two additional rooms right off of the yoga deck, and these are also en suites. You can open up these windows and doors to get all the light. And they both have an en suite, but I wanna show you this one. Isn't this nice? Look, it's the only bathtub in the grounds here. And it's so pretty. Like, I could really relax in here. Or these two could, together with the others, make up the six bedrooms. But I'm starving. Oh my gosh, we haven't eaten yet. We have to do breakfast. And remember that bucket list item I was telling you about? Well, let's please get to sit here at the table and eat our breakfast. The kids already have theirs. They're chowing down. Brooklyn, what'd you get? Pancake? Putting some strawberry jam on there. Nia, same thing. Coach got a banana pancake. But Aaron and Rocio get to do something a bit more special and a bit more wet. This has been on my bucket list of things to do ever since I first saw it on Instagram. Whoever was the first to do it, thank you for being the inspiration. This is just for the moms this morning. Special mom time after yoga and then to just reflect and wash off our workout. We are living the dream a Balinese floating breakfast just for us. And this is ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And this is ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma. The luxury continues. Phil and I are gonna get couples massages and it's only gonna cost us about $13 per person for an hour. Hello. Good, how are you doing? We don't normally get massages, but this seemed like a pretty special circumstance. Time to relax. Oh wow, that was so relaxing, refreshing. I just feel like, oh no, <laughs> I feel like we should do massages more often if they're anything like this. All right, let's go. It's Melvin and Rocio's turn. The guys are out trying to find the drone in the middle of the jungle. They've been out there for a little bit, but they're struggling to pinpoint it. They found it! Oh my God. That is the good thing where I'm oh telling you. Goodness. Tomorrow they have to go one more there one more to there, bring yeah. in the offering. The offering. So yeah. they're, they're praying so and making an offering. Find that drone. See, so they have to plan now to get the drone. The oh. drone is stuck on, 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 the, on, the, on the ring. Still not in the clear yet. They found the drone, but it's up in a tree. So now they have to climb it. You get $1,000. Woo! Oh. Yeah. Oh, my that goodness. is one a miracle oh. thing in Bali. See, we do something in in Bali. You know, we it's just like in the small forest like that near the valley. We just like uh, make some promise because we believe it down there. They have like a spirit, but we never know. We never see them. It's why we just promise them if you get back our our drone or whatever, and then we just give them some small offering, which is like a candy, yeah. bread, whatever we can, something like that. It's something unique in Bali, but we trust that and. They found the drone! <laughs> it works! Miracle in Bali. All right, well that worked up a sweat, so on top of the oils from the massage, I think it's time to go use the outdoor shower, rinse off, get cleaned up, and get to work. You want the temperature just right so it feels like you're standing in the rain. The ultimate Ubud experience. Doesn't get any more Ubud than this. Oh yes it does! We're heading into town. How long is I drive into town? Uh, it's about 15 minutes. Quick, 7K. All right. All right. This is like a clown car. We have to fit eight of us in here. For seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Phil's a little nervous about this because he's a big safety guy. Seatbelts are a big deal to us. So we're gonna we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna trust them, but seatbelts are always better. It's ready to party. Woo! I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I hope the kids aren't too cramped back there. We're
We're gonna check off another one from my bucket list. Oh, whoops. Sorry guys. A little bit of a detour from where we were heading downtown to the uh, central downtown area. And instead we ended up doing about a 45 minute drive to visit this cool site on our way. It's the Ubud Rice Terraces. This is like an adventure park. I had no idea that something like this really existed in Bali. I'd heard about the swings before, but I didn't know that there would be a park-like place. And also, what a fantastic place to get cocktails. But we're gonna save that for later. The kids are so excited. We're doing two different activities. Colt is going zip lining. This is the first official zip lining that we've done. We did the Kids Ninja Village, but I'm not sure that counts since we're only this far off the ground. How do you feel? Not very scared, honestly. It's not very fast. I'm scared about the one on the way down. Let's go, Cole! First zip line, and he rocked it in Bali. And look how high they are off the ground. Oh my gosh, my heart was beating so fast. Seeing your babies do something that feels a little dangerous. But they, they're also locked in there pretty securely. Now it's Knox's turn. The boys are doing this as a little bonding activity. Question is now, how do they get down? Well, there's another cable that goes down this way. So they actually go all the way across and then I think they climb down a net to the bottom. Brooklyn and I are gonna do the swing and this is what you have to have on your bucket list. I'm so, so nervous. Was it scary? When you first like go out, kind of like accelerating, I guess that feeling. It's like hard to breathe when you get for, first push out. Are you glad you did it? Would you do it again? Yeah. That was a great pit stop. We're getting back on the road. This is downtown Ubud. It's really crowded, big touristy area. A lot of the expats and the digital nomads that come and hang out in Bali are all in this area. There's a huge Starbucks back there, but we're headed to Cafe Lotus. We're gonna have a cultural dinner experience. So beautiful. Look at this lily pond and those flowers are real. They look fake, they look so perfect, but they're real. And look how we're gonna eat tonight. First of all, we gotta take off our shoes and then we sit on the mats. We get to sit at these tiny little tables. First order of business is to hydrate. Second order of business, dehydrate. Hey, the Ocampos have been here before, but this is our first time and look at this food. Guess what? I got the same thing that I had last night actually, chicken curry, because it just sounded phenomenal. It was so good last night, I had to try it again. And it's good. I'm the rebel here. Almost everybody got chicken, but I got this fish because it was a signature dish for the restaurant. I always shoot for the specialty dishes and it was spicy and I want really spicy stuff lately. I've been craving it. And Indonesia has a really hot pepper called the Bali pepper, I think. So hopefully they use some of that in here and it's nice and spicy for me. My fish is cooked in a banana leaf. That is really good. When you cook stuff in banana leaves, it like really, really steams it and it keeps the meat really moist. So, so good. I'm so glad I got it. It's spicy, but not, not a lot. Still searching for a hot, 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 spicy dish. We're gonna dig in and eat some of this delicious food and wait for the show to start. What a great way to close out the episode because Ubud is considered the center for traditional crafts and dance. And they're dancing in front of a Hindu temple. So we really are, are having the Ubud experience even though this has only been 24 hours that we've been here. And we checked off two of the things on my bucket list and I've got more stuff on that list. So keep following us. We've got more to come in Bali and more to come throughout the world. So subscribe, comment, we want to talk to you. And we'll see you in the next episode. In the jungle, the Bali jungle, Aaron goes right there. I'm gonna cut it before I say that. All right, one more, one more. Now let's wait. <laughs> I'm trying to like look graceful, but it's really cold. <laughs> it's freezing. Okay. And there aren't any more steps on this side. <laughs>
and we're gonna go all the way to the <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Here we go. This is like Instagram versus reality. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a ledge over here you can sit on. There's a ledge over here you can sit on. This is reality. Totally. That was super graceful, guys. Oh. <laughs>